Welcome back to my window. It's been great here all week in Sisters, Sisters Folk Festival, but you were just recently out of town for the Hood to Coast. The Hood to Coast Relay Race brings in people from all 50 states, 39 countries. It's the mother of all relay races. It was the original one. Other races have been kind of copied after it. Uh, and I ran the first four years of the race when there were 80 guys, and now there's about... Back in 1906. And now there's about, well, it's actually the 32nd year, and for 27 of them, I've been announcing them, and it is, it's quite an experience. Uh, each team goes about 25 hours straight, and... Start at Mount Hood, end at the coast. Seaside. Let's see their story. I don't like Hood to Coast, but I need Hood to Coast. Oregon State Senate President Peter Courtney has run it 19 times. And it's uh, my home state, so it's the first time I've done Hood to Coast. So I think I can officially call myself an Oregonian. And for Ben's own Olympic gold medalist Ashton Eaton, it was his first. It is the Hood to Coast relay race, the mother of all running relay races. Bob Foote came up with the idea for the race, 32 years ago. When I founded the race in 1982, I had eight teams that year, and, and I said at that time, this race ever gets up to 25 teams, huge success. So, I mean, it just sort of took on a life of its own, and uh, it just became what it wanted to be. Instead, Hood to Coast exploded into a relay that now sells out in hours, turning away thousands of hopeful relay runners, while drawing more than 13,000 runners from all 50 states and this year, 39 countries. I think it's about camaraderie and adventure. Uh, it's about having an awesome time, forgetting your worries, laughing, uh, seeing your friends and your family that maybe you haven't seen in a year, and having a, a mini reunion. And this is sometimes uh, the only time that you are able to get together and let loose and see your friends and your family and really rekindle those relationships. While a bunch of teams have traversed the 198-mile course for many years together, Hood to Coast also attracts the newbie relayer, who's drawn to the race that starts at Mount Hood's Timberline Lodge and ends in Seaside for any number of reasons. And uh, basically we're raising money to uh, build sustainable water solutions for uh, South Sudan, just basically saving kids' lives. Hood to Coast is just a celebration of running and, and camaraderie, you know, within teams. I mean, running as a, as a sport is just an isolated soul kind of experience. And, and here they get to participate with their best friends as a team. When they get tired, their teammates pull them through tough legs and, and getting to the end. Uh, and, it's, and it's the craziness of staying up all night, no sleep, no, no food, uh, uh, not a lot to drink. Each team has 12 runners split into two vans, and each competitor runs three legs, which average about five-ish miles. In past years, runners have started out in snow, run through sun, and finished at the coast in wind and rain. But not this year. Another one down, and maybe one of our very best we've ever had this year. We just got lucky. There's so many things that happened. Stars were in alignment this year. We, we had terrific weather. It was cool throughout the whole race course. A little bit of drizzle coming over the Coast Range Mountains, so it's perfect for the runners. While weather and the runners' faces have changed over the years, one thing has remained constant. Yours truly has announced every year since, well, since Bob first handed me a bullhorn. We fondly call him the voice of Hood to Coast, and he's an Iron Man. He does like about 11 hours, uh, no, actually about 13 hours of announcing on the Friday start, gets a little to sleep, and the next morning he comes back onto the beach and does, does another 11 hours of announcing. Unbelievable. 